Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here is my first Hot Toys figure. And, um, yeah, so here we have the Spider-Man upgraded suit from Far From Home Hot Toys figure. Let's go over to packaging here. So first, uh, we get this little cover box here, which has a picture of Mysterio here with a bulb. And you also get that little thing around where it was attached to his helmet, and then you get that torso area. You get some green detailing around there. You get some red and you get the Spider-Man Farm from Home furnished on top here. And this transparent plastic around there. Here's the side where it says Spider-Man upgraded suit. And then here's the back with all those details here. And then here's the other side with that same thing. And here is the top Spider-Man upgraded suit, uh, one six scale uh, collectible figure. And then here's the bottom, Spider-Man Far From Home. And then let's undo it. Sorry about that, my stupid siblings came down and made a bunch of noise. So here we have a picture of Spider-Man with the upgraded suit here with all that nice detailing around there. Uh, you get some drones flying in the background there. And then you also get Spider-Man upgraded suit furnished there. You could kind of see it, but it's a little hard to see with it. And you get the uh, Mysterio logo right there. Here is the side with the Spider-Man logo. Uh, with the legs extending out all the way down through the box. And here's the back with all the credits here. With some green hue in the background. And here's the other side with that same Spider-Man logo furnished. And then if you open it up, you get the rest of the picture there. And then you get Spider-Man here. Where it says Spider-Man upgraded suit um, furnished there. And you get this plastic here. Uh, basically previewing the figure, but besides that, let's crack them open. So here it is when you take it out, but it has this plastic cover here to protect the figure. Um, so first thing here, you get this like a little instructions here, which tell you how to use it. Um, so yeah, open that bad boy up. I kind of want to read that before I do anything. So yeah, it tells you what all to do, how to use it. There's the instructions here. There's the back side here. So yes, definitely probably want to read those. Um, but besides that, let's take them, the figure out and we'll look through the accessories first and then we'll take a, quick, a closer look at the figure. So starting off with one of the templates here, uh, you get different eye sets. So you, first you get the wide open ones and some of them fell off. Uh, so you get some more squinted ones too, even more squinted, and then completely closed eyes. Uh, definitely gonna have to keep these safe somewhere. You get the Edith glasses, you get a cell phone, and then you get the soft, good uh, Spider-Man mask here, which is not meant to go on them, but you also get the lenses there. You're supposed to have them hold it with the unmasked version. So yeah, there's that. Uh, definitely gonna have to get a baggie with all these. And then closer detail with the phone, you get that glossy screen here where it has a text with Peter saying on the way and don't text and swing. Oh, whoops, I am out of camera. If it'll focus, it's pretty small and you get some crack details there, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and then you also get that little camera there. It's pretty cool. So yeah. And then here in the other little package here, we get a set of hands. So we get a pair of wall crawling hands. You get uh, one of him posing with the peace sign. You get one of the relaxed hands. You get one of holding a uh, phone, I believe, and the flipping hands. And then you get this little accessory for the web shooters, which is supposed to go around the wrist. And then you're supposed to port the, um, the webs through that. So that way it looks like it's actually coming out. And then another wall crawling hand, uh, you get another web hold, you get a web holding hand here. And then you get another relaxed hand, web shoot, uh, webbing hand, and then another one of those web uh, attachment things to add in there. Um, and then I don't see another web holding hand unless it's attached to the figure. Um, but yeah, and then you also get uh, these little web wings here, so this is supposed to go under the arms. I love the look of it because it just kind of like overlaps here 
and it kind of looks like webbing. You get these like little magnets. So these are supposed to go through the, uh, under the armpits. And this one's for the crotch area here. So yeah, and I love how it crosses over like that, like a kite. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So maybe, I'll, I will display what it looks like with that here. But uh, another thing I kind of want to talk about the hands, I haven't really gotten them out. So yeah, here, here's a wall crawling hand. So you could tell that they have that line there, those lines that go through the hand in the black area. And then look at that texturing in the fingertips. You get the red, nice red there, but the texturing is just awesome. And you get the black cobwebbing there. And you get that port there for him to put on. So yeah, that's the web holding hands. And you get the little web shooter uh, trigger there. So there's that. And then, and then for the web accessories here, so you get this one where he's supposed to hold on to it here. So if you take that out, it has that little gap there where it's supposed to go through the hands. And I love how the transparent webbing looks. It's all raveled up up here where you would grab. So that's really nice. The webbing texture, sculpt, and everything is nice. Um, yeah, I, I really like this attachment uh, a lot. So I'll definitely have him posing with that. And then for another attachment here, you get this like little unraveled webbing here where it's supposed to attach to a wall. Uh, so it has a little port there, which you're supposed to put in. Um to the other attachments, but I love the raveling through the lines here. And you know, clumps up right here, which is really nice. It looks like an actual web. And then for the actual thing. Uh, so yeah, you get another web one uh, where you're supposed to hold onto it. So it gets a little thin here, where you're, where you're supposed to grab onto it and it ravels up around and then a nice transparent look. And then you get that little port there. So what you would do, I think is just slide it in like that and then boom that's what it's supposed to do so yeah and then he's supposed to hold on to it through that one hand uh there so yeah you get this long one and then you get two of these ones here which i think is supposed to hold on to this part right here and then you get one where he's like about to shoot like it blobs up right at the end of here so that's pretty cool and ports in. You get that little port piece there. You get two of those. So yeah, nice web accessories. And another accessory that they gave us is this uh, drone went from Edith, but um, Mr. uses it as a weapon. So you get all those cameras, turrets, you get those other turrets there. I don't know if it articulates a lot. Uh, you get some more missiles in there. You get some nice wear in there too. It looks amazing. Let's do a quick look around. Get some nice detailing. Get the like boosters, thrusters there. There's the back side. I think this is awesome. I love the drone. And another accessory that we got is Tom Holland's head. Oh my God, this looks amazing. It looks so realistic. Uh, so the head sculpt is amazing. Just looks like him. Look at the eyes. They even freaking shine back at you. What the? I don't know. It looks like they're a little off. I mean, not off, like not cockeyed. They do an amazing job with the eyes on their positioning. I think it's just looking off a little bit over to the right side. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it's looking off straight. I'm not quite sure. But you get all that detail in there. You get some dimples in there. Look at the hair. It fades in there. You get that nice brown hair. It just looks nice. And you get some nice curls. Jesus. Even in person, it just looks nuts. Like, jeez. And then you get this like little display stand here with that nice Spider-Man logo there. And the plastic's kind of messing with it. So let's do some satisfying taking it off. Make it satisfying, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know how the phones, that like seems so satisfying. Oh yeah, look at that. But yeah, you get that little picture of New York City there. And then you get the Spider-Man shine, Spider logo shining across it. Spider-Man Far From Home logo. Uh, and then you get some nice texturing through there actually. It's, it seems like it has a grip. 
and you get some nice lines going through it. And then here you get the Spearman logo with some detailing across with Spearman upgraded suit. And you get this little port here, uh, nothing else, it's just a hexagon. So yeah, but yeah, you get that port there for the stand. But first off, you get this like little bendy wire here, which you get these threads here, you're supposed to screw it. No, nope, never mind, I, didn't, I said that wrong. Hang on a second, I need to figure this out. Clamp here. So this is supposed to hold them up when you're having them up in the air. You get some nice cushioning in there, around the rings there, and you can just clamp it on. And then you get this like little hole here, which I believe you're... Okay, I just figured it out. So there's this top piece that you're supposed to take off. And then you're supposed to just slide that bad boy in there. Just like that. There you go. And then you also get this other piece here, which is for the drone. You can just pop that in there. Uh, give me a second here. Let me... All right, so we got that on there. And then for this, you kind of just want to do the same thing. So you just... Kind of want to slide that there, boom, and then you put that top piece in there so it stays secure, and then boom, and then you slide this bad boy in, and then screw it right in to the display stand, just like that, boom, and then that's how tall it looks there, and then this has the port there, and you just kind of has that little piece there. They could just hook up on there. So pop it right in. Hi, hey, Marvel. Boom. And it just looks, oh, and I took it off a little bit. And boom, pop it right back in. So yeah, that's how it looks there flying. And then boom, that's what the display stand looks like right now. And here he is out of packaging. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. But yeah, there he is in full glory. I love it. It looks amazing. But yeah, let's go over the looks of it. So, first off, with the head sculpt, you get that nice fabric texture there. Uh, it is actually cloth, uh, whereas the original uh, ones were plastic, pure plastic. And I believe you could just pop it off there, double ball joint. It's uh, soft goods there, so definitely be careful when you take it off. And yeah, you can move around all over the place with that. But look at that head sculpt there. Or not head sculpt, but they got the mask and stuff in there. I don't quite remember how you're supposed to take it off. I think... There you go. So yeah, you just can't... It, oh, it's magnetic. So yeah, see that there? So it's definitely magnetic. Here's like the semi squinted uh, head there. And then if you want to, you can do the expressions with them. So just kind of slide that in there. Boom, kind of winking at you. So yeah, that looks awesome. And then like the fabric look of it is just awesome. And then the lines are just perfect. And then um, I forgot his name, uh, Justin's collection. Uh, when I saw his, it, it kind of looked like a sock uh, sock mask because it had that little piece that was just right on top, kind of looking like it was just Deadpool for a second. Uh, but I am happy mine does not have that. But his did, so I was kind of a little worried about getting it. Um, I got mine from Sideshow, whereas he got his from uh, Toys Wonderland. So I don't know if they have different types of, like quality maybe but that's what the inside looks like too you get some like padding somewhat in there and then you can pop that bad boy back in here easily boom and then the rest is completely fabric so yeah so you get that nice texture in there you get the spider-man logo with some white lining cobwebbing looks amazing and then here you get those nice lines through the black area. You get some nice leather texture uh, through these thick lines. You get the belt here. Look at that. Look at that detail in there. Here's the feet here. It goes down all the way through the leg. Here's the hand with some red detail in there too. You get some nice texturing there. And here's the other side of the forearm with some like silver from the movie and you get that web shooter here which i'll show you how to put down too 
uh, the webbing stuff. You get fisted hands too, just an FYI. Um, and then here's the back side here. So you get that white spider there. Jeez, I love this fear. Here's the feet. Here's the bottom of the feet. You get that thing there. Uh, you get some nice footing there, some red, some gray, shiny gray. Other side, and same thing. Um, but yeah, this thing is just awesome. But let's go over the articulation real quick. So like I said, he has double ball joints. So you can look down that far up a decent amount. He can look left and right. He can go side to side here. Shoulders are clicky, but they'll go up that far. Uh, you get them up and down. You don't want to do 360 rotation with these. Uh, double jointed elbows, I believe. Maybe. I think so. Yeah. And then wrists have that one motion that you, um, like McFarlane figures have. So you can rotate it, get it to go side to side. Kind of mess with it a little bit. And then you can go up and down with it. There. He has a ball joint at the top piece here. So forward that much. Backwards that much. And then he has another, has another one at the hip. So in all, forward that much. Backwards that much. Legs, you kick out that far. But then the fabric kind of crinkles there forward decent amount backwards quite a bit actually uh you get that little thigh cut area there jo double jointed knees here which are nice and the um ankles can hinge down that far up that far and then you get that nice toe joint and then you get this nice ankle pivot and then for the hands here you kind of just want to pop those off and then grab those pieces that i was talking about for the webs so for those, you want the web shooting hands, and if you, and uh, I think you can use like, yeah, you want the web shooting hands if you're gonna make him look like he's gonna shoot out of his wrist. So it's kind of hard because you got these little pegs inside there, so you want to be very careful. You want to take, you kind of want to try peeling this off there, nice and carefully without messing it up or breaking the, like the little pegs. I remember now i thought they would just do a loop around but i was wrong so yeah just want to peel that off like that and you want to keep that very safe and then grab this one with the web attachment plug that bad boy right in there i may just keep it like that for the web shooting hands instead of having to Get stressed out about this hand. And then that's how it should look. And then you just want to kind of pop that bad boy back right in there like that. And then it matches well with the web shooter. And you can kind of just, oh, and then I popped it back out. Okay, hang on. Give me a second. Uh, boom. Just like that. And then, so it has that little hole inside there. Uh, let's grab one of those web shooters things here. Slide that right in there. In fact, again. There we go. Popped right in. And then boom. That's what it looks like. It looks awesome. I love this figure. And then let's see what he looks like with the the head sculpt. Man, that thing looks awesome. Let's see what he looks like with the Edith glasses here. They're right here. Boom. So here they are. You just kind of want to set them on there. Nice and easy now. I am freaking out because these figures are expensive. I don't want to break mine at all. I don't even want to break the glasses, honestly. But yeah, that's what it looks like with the glasses. In the movie, they were like huge. But right here, it fits perfectly for him. So... I think it looks pretty cool though. I like it. And then for the mask, it's ex accessories here. So for like this mask, the reason why they gave it to you is so that way you can like display them like holding on to it maybe like this with this hand maybe if you could get to do that. Maybe a different one. Um, let me get that. So you could grab the like the phone holding hand and then have him like ball it up right here and then just put it through the hand. Just like that, and then it looks like he's holding on to it. 
And then for the web wings here, so this one, you kind of just want to flip them around here. And you can see these like little, little slots here. Kind of just want to try to fit in. I think they're magnetized, it looks like. Let's see if I can get his arm up a little bit more. Maybe that's why. Boom. Kind of. Oh, maybe I have it in the wrong way. Maybe it's supposed to go like this. Yeah. Mm. And then boom. That's what it looks like with the wings on. So what I started with first was the crotch piece because I was having problems with this spacing. So, and then I somehow managed to get the other ones on, but they look like they're about to fall off. But if you haven't posed with it, they should be able to stay. But if you're playing with them like the, with this, they're not gonna stay, I don't think. Um, but I think this is an awesome accessory though. He looks pretty cool with it, honestly. Looks like a flying scroll. So yeah, that's the Hot Toys Upgraded Spider-Man suit. I am definitely going to pre-order uh, the Venom one and uh, the black and gold suit and then Mysterio. And then I'm probably going to order the homemade suit. Uh, I'm going to get the ones that are out first, obviously. So I'll get the homemade suit first and then I'll probably get the stealth suit and then Mysterio because he comes out next and then the... Uh, up, uh, black and gold and venom suit come out around the same time so yeah i am looking forward to hot toys figures right now but besides that that's all i got for this fair make sure you guys check out my uh link tree in the description for other stuff for like my tw uh twitch my twitter um my tiktok and other stuff so make sure you guys check that out but besides that thanks for watching